Okay, so hey guys, I finally got the seal kit for the motor. Uh, it took me like two months to get this kit. It's crazy. Uh, and it also it was kind of super expensive. Uh, slightly over 200 euros. So that's probably like $250 for this. I don't know, for me it kind of seems crazy. But it's cheaper than buying a new uh, motor. Hydraulic motor. Uh, the reason I waited this long for that kit uh, is because of the company that I dealt with first. Uh, they basically wasted like one uh, and a uh, slightly over one month of my time. Uh, they basically in the end said that uh, they don't have time to deal with my tiny order. So I switched companies and uh, I got the kit in like two, two or three days. So yeah, customer service at its best. Uh, anyway, let's let's get this kit installed and let's see, hopefully it will fi uh, fix the issue. Also got this nice little handy tool. Hopefully it will be able to do something useful. Battery is kind of half full right now, so let's see if uh, this can, but uh, if this can open some nuts here. Yeah, no problem. I'm not gonna open all of them. I'm gonna get the. Uh, I'm gonna check it up first. Okay, so I got the motor out. Nice, very nice. Got it on the vise here, so I'm gonna try to open her up. Uh, I know there's a pattern to it uh, if you close it. I mean, torque it up, but I'm not sure you need to follow that pattern mm, when you open it. I might be mistaken. Probably you need to follow it. So. Okay, let's, let's see, I have some kind of video here that I'm gonna follow on YouTube and hopefully we'll get get to the bottom of this, yeah. Don't have a uh, adapter for this, uh, I think this is, uh, this, this is smaller, so I have to use this here. So I kind of welded myself an uh, adapter, seems to be working out pretty good. Looks kind of funky though.
Yeah, there's your problem right here. You can kind of see the seal on this. I mean, there's uh, parts of the seal everywhere. I mean, it should look like something like this, but I mean, it's just tangled and there's really nothing left here. No wonder this wasn't really. Also, the center seal is absolutely gone. There is, there is nothing here now. Absolutely destroyed. There's, oh yeah, there's one more plate here. Okay, so pretty much at least it's good to know that it's it's a seal issue. I'm a, or, I'm or already gonna try to add the seals here. I mean, I think this is kind of interesting actually. This it doesn't match the one in the video, so it's a, it's a bit different. There should be a black seal also under here. Oh yeah, it's com completely destroyed. There's really nothing left here. It's parts of seals everywhere. Weird.
kill those. Because I don't think I can actually turn this guy around without losing any center gears or anything. So I'm gonna try to place this on top of here while the while the seal heals here, but um, I'm not 100% sure that I'm gonna hit the right mark. Okay, I'm gonna try something at least. Should I kind of shoot turn that around? But I don't wanna lose any of these gears. Actually, this also works. Now I can set the seal in here. A bit dirt here somewhere, but I can wash that out. Okay, so here's the situation right now. Basically, uh, only out of the seal kit, only two seals uh, fitted nicely. The main seal that was broken here and another uh, small o-ring that is inside here now uh, but the center center seal here the plastic is too big for this hole as you can see and also the seal that came with it i cannot use this so uh, this is the old plastic casing i can use this fine here but i didn't have a seal for this so i went to the local hydraulic shop and got uh, um, Oh, a simple o-ring for this old uh, old uh, plastic casing this is the original that was broken uh, it's a bit thicker than the one that I got from the hydraulic shop that they didn't they didn't have this uh, small seal so this is the closest they had so I think this will be fine uh, the original, the the one with the ga the game with the seal kit, uh, is about the same thickness anyway than this, so I think uh, it won't be a problem. So I'm gonna install the last seal now, and then I can install it back on the. Then I can reassemble it and install it back on the machine. Okay. So I'm guessing this hole has to line up with this hole. This should be the case drain hole here. It's okay, I'm just gonna guessing how that goes. I'm guessing it goes like this.
right, copy signal. I'm gonna read the video, make sure email this way. Okay, got it installed. God damn it, that was a messy job. Also, the oil I lost was also pretty significant. I'd say about two liters. Mainly because the case drain uh, line, uh, I didn't have a block for that, so I kind of kind of makeshifted some kind of kind of weird block for it. So. Yeah, I'm not sure wha what the case drain is even for actually, maybe somebody in the comments can tell me. Uh, all the hydraulic pumps and motors that I have done so far, there is no case drain uh, line on them. I haven't really bothered to google it also, but I guess it's some, for some kind of gear lubrication inside the motor, I'm not sure. But uh, okay, I got it installed, let's, let's see if it works now. I'm gonna... If I can move the machine, then I'm gonna drive against this concrete wall. If if the right side turns on the spot, then it's fixed. Then it has power. So okay, I'm gonna set the camera down somewhere if I can find something to set the camera on. Actually, I think this will be fine. Kind of kind of funky, but. I think you will see it nicely. Oh, yeah, okay. There we go, a chair. I really need to get a camera stand. But apparently I have no money right now, so... A chair will do fine. <laughs> okay, hopefully it will turn. When I tried to turn it by hand, I, I, wouldn't, I, I was not able to turn it by hand, but... Maybe that's because uh, the plates are so thickly together. Uh, and it, it, it needs oil between them, so hopefully it will work fine when I start up the machine. So yeah, basically end of the video, I guess.